Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions here, and uh, if you watched my channel before, you know that I like to look at big, goofy, old uh, business laptops like this HP Compaq 8710W here. Um, you know, it's big, it's interesting, it's fun to use, uh, interesting to look at on a YouTube video, um, but uh, not very practical nowadays. Heavy as well, I'd like to mention. Very, very heavy. Um, but not very practical to use nowadays, uh, to say the least. So, what would I recommend if you wanted to uh, use a laptop in today's computing environment? Uh, well, that's where this laptop would come into play. This is a Dell Inspiron 5567, more specifically, the P66F001, um, or P66F. Um, any of those uh, model numbers, we'll pull it up if you'd like to look for one of these for sale. This is a uh, kind of, I guess you'd say, business laptop um, from around 2017, early 2017. Uh, it features an Intel Core i7 7500U dual core with hyperthreading processor and a Radeon R7 M445 graphics card. Um, so, after all those numbers, what do all of those numbers mean? Well, it means that this is basically a mid-range business laptop from 2017. So, uh, what can you do with this laptop nowadays? What would be a practical use for it? And uh, would I recommend you use this uh, very affordable pre-owned laptop that you can find on eBay? Well, let's take a look and see what it can do. So the way I see this laptop is that uh, it's more of a overall just general usage laptop. Uh, it'd be good for someone in college, for example, or just somebody that needs a laptop to use for work purposes, whatever. Uh, taking a look at some scores that were uh, recorded on Cinebench R20. Uh, this is uh, courtesy of CPUMonkey.com. I think that might be racist nowadays, but never mind that. Um, he's showing this thing lining up roughly with a 8550U. Uh, I don't, I don't know how accurate that is really, um, but it's saying it's also equivalent to a Ryzen 3 1200. Um, both of those four-core processors. This one's a mobile, of course, um, and then multi-core, showing. Uh, once again, showing it not too far behind a Ryzen 3 third generation mobile processor. Battery life is an important aspect of a laptop like this, obviously. Right now, um, it's showing me an hour and 13 minutes remaining at 40%. Um, best case scenario, you, um, especially if you buy one of these pre-owned, not sure about the battery condition, uh, assuming it's been um, taken care of decently, decently well, hasn't been plugged up its entire life. Um, you're looking at probably around four or five hours under regular usage, uh, web browsing, you know, have a few tabs open, doing some Microsoft Office perhaps. Battery life will come into play. Um, it's saying 15 minutes remaining right now, so, you know, um, as far as when, you, when it comes to using the GPU on battery power, maybe not the greatest in the world, but um, as far as the battery life is concerned, just in general, general usage, um, you know, office work, web browsing, etc., the battery life isn't terrible. Um, I would love for it to be better than it is, um, but you can squeeze about four hours out of it. The screen on this thing is a basic TN panel. Um, it will get pretty bright, which I will try to demonstrate here. You can see, yeah, it's, it's, it's decent. Um, using it outdoors wouldn't be a fantastic experience. It's a non-glossy display, but it's still pretty reflective when you're in a bright situation, but generally indoors in a bright room it would be okay. Um, it has a webcam, which I don't think I've ever even tried. Um, let's see. Let me just test it here live for you. Okay, so now we're recording a video with the webcam on this thing. You can see the fly swatters over there. Um, we use those pretty regularly. 
And um, yeah, I guess this thing has a microphone. Yeah, right there next to the webcam. So uh, yeah, and there you go. There's the webcam. Other than that, the 7500U processor isn't going to set the world on fire exactly. Um, it is a 15 watt TDP processor. Um, it scores around 700 on Geekbench, um, which is approximately equivalent to a Pentium desktop processor from the same time period, um, which isn't bad, uh, but yeah, you know, it's a dual core processor. What can you expect? It's not going to be a gaming machine. Alright, so just for a bit of fun here, um, I'm going to run Crisis on this laptop. It'll take it a moment to open, so I'm going to have a, go ahead and have it opening right now. I've um, got it running off of an external drive, but anyway, as I said earlier, um, this isn't a gaming laptop. Um, if you decide to get this for gaming, uh, just know there's plenty of better options out there around the same price point, maybe a little bit more money. You could get a lot better gaming performance uh, if that's all you want. Here we go. I'm going to launch Crisis here just as a test in a, um, in a 3D graphics environment here. I'm going to open up a single player. Let me make sure it's running at 1080p real quick here. Alright, here we go. August 7th, 2020. Uh, this is running Crisis. Um, 1080p. I don't know about any other settings. But we're just going to see kind of the frame rate here. Let's get the cutscene. Here we go. This is the game itself. Oh wow, look at that. Not bad. I mean, this is a game from 2007, but it's it's still kind of a, a well-known old thing, you know. Yeah, the, the game is running at a good FPS here. No stutter, no lag, no, uh, you know, no, no glitchiness. It's running really well. Yeah, I'm very impressed, actually, by this. Again, you know, it is a game from 2007, but... That's that's not bad right there. That would that would be still be pretty good in uh, in some lower end titles like esports and stuff. So you know if you want to do some gaming on this laptop, go right ahead. But I wouldn't I still wouldn't recommend it specifically for that. Good evening. This is Howard Johnson with Dell Corporation. I would like to express my sincere condolences towards the families involved with the ASUS G51 uh, disaster, which recently occurred. I have since left ASUS to join Dell Corporation in the design of the new Inspiron 5567 laptop product, as you see here. This laptop is one of the thinnest laptops on the market at the moment, the lightest weight as well. But it does not sacrifice in its capabilities when it comes to computing, when they start up the unit at this time, and it will turn on in a short notice. This unit, this unit features a optical drive, unlike most of our competitors' products at this moment. The optical drive is still a very important part of the computing environment today. And they also sign in on the, uh, the product here, and I will unveil to you a very uh, significant uh, um, technological in innovation here the MyDell mobile app, which I can connect to my computer. Password. What password? You guys didn't tell me about a password now. Damn it, John. If I get prompted for one more password on this damn computer, we're not even going to do this promotion anymore. I'll tell you, I'm fed up with it. If you're doing stuff like video editing, um, this would be acceptable for video editing. Now, the display would come into play there because the display is not. Uh, particularly impressive. It is a 1080p display, which, um, you know, if it was anything else other than that, I would not be even bothering with this thing, but it is a 1080p display. 
Um, it has a fat um, screen bezel, which is a little goofy looking for a laptop of this thing's age. Not very old, that is. You know, it's a lot simpler to just film this stuff on an iPhone. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm here on the Inspiron 5567. And um, just to prove it, there it is right there. All right. And um, I'm just doing a little video editing here in DaVinci Resolve. Um, i got a 1080p project here at 30 FPS. Pretty standard stuff there. 4K, obviously, this laptop, it'll do it. It'll do it, but it doesn't have a 4K display. So it's like, yeah, you know, if you got to edit some 4K footage, then it'll work. But 1080p is what we're going to do here. And just to demonstrate the speakers, um, yeah, take a listen to this. This is a review that I filmed for my uh, reviews channel. Check that out. No, I'm not going to plug that. Video. Take a listen to this. Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions and this is the TP-Link TL-WA. Alright, so just listening to that for a moment. What level do you think the volume was on? Did you think it was on 18? Well, yeah, it was. Let's turn it up to... 40, 42. Let's hear that. 855RE Wi Fi range extender. This is the basic model, um, whatever they call it, just the cheapest one. I think it's about $30 on Amazon. This thing has like 20,000 reviews on Amazon. It's an extremely popular product. It's something that I can actually use out here in the shop where we have no internet, certainly not wired internet. Very loud speakers, all I wanted to show there, but anyway, yeah, it'll, it'll uh, edit 1080p footage just fine. We can scrub through it real quick. You can see it's not perfectly smooth, but yeah. Resolve is pretty demanding. Um, you'd have to have a pretty powerful system for it to, um, to scrub smoothly, but it's not bad, honestly, um, just for editing, you know. So we can just uh, really quickly cut cut something there we go forgot how to use this you can see there it goes through there it's fine it doesn't slow it down the fan will ramp up a little bit but yeah pause it jump over here jump over here jump over here yeah it's fine um, video editing on this thing is nice and as I mentioned before I did edit a video on here before if I can find it real quick the Windows XP Delta edition video on my channel you can go check that out I edited that video on this laptop so that concludes my review of the Dell Inspiron 5567 with the Radeon M440 graphics card um, it's just a nice little overall laptop Oh, nice overall laptop? I don't know what that means, but anyway. Um, it's just a nice laptop overall for general usage, um, especially um, join the Discord server. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's fine. It's overall, it's not extremely impressive. Like, it's not going to blow you away in any uh, aspect. It's got an ultra-low power CPU, um, but it doesn't have incredible battery life. Not bad battery life, I mean, you know. Um, using anything that's going to be, um, anytime you're going to be doing anything that's utilizing the graphics card, the battery life is going to go. So, you know, but it's not too bad. Um, yes, yeah, that's, that's really its weakest spot is the battery life, unfortunately. But it is very thin, um, especially for a laptop that has an optical drive. So the optical drive is a legitimate um, consideration if that's something you need. It does not use um, in NVMe SSDs, it uses a standard SATA 2.5 inch uh, drive. I have a fairly fast one in here, Samsung 840 EVO, I believe. Um, so, yeah, um, basically, if you get one of these, you'll definitely want to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM if it doesn't already have that, and a decent SSD. But other than that, uh, you will have a pretty good all-around computer for $200. That's the biggest consideration here, really. When it comes to performance, this thing was $200. And that's not even hard to find. I mean, that's not, as I said, that's not like a weird four-parts deal or something. You're taking a chance. That's just straight-up, you know, pre-owned condition on eBay. $200, bucks. you can find these easy on eBay. Same one. So, 
I have to say I would recommend this laptop if you are on low budget and you want to get a laptop that is just good all around. It's just an all around good laptop and uh, versatile with the uh, DVD drive and SD card slot and all that. So I have to say I do recommend this laptop genuinely in 2022 if you're looking for an all around decent laptop. So there you have it, a laptop that I would recommend and not some goofy old thing. So, how about that? Might be a first on this channel, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, and until next time, stay safe out there.